All right, what's up, YouTube? Um, gonna do another short video here. Steiner, rough cut, newer, newer version. Uh, I've used it a couple times. You see, got some dead weeds in here. This is without the reverse rotation kit. Um, I ended up purchasing it. You might not need it. I don't know. I was using it, and I think it needs it. Everything was. I should have did a video on it, and it's too late now. I was in such a damn hurry to use it because I was excited and. I I love this thing. It's it's pretty badass. I have to admit. Um, like I said my only complaint is I got into some higher grass and stuff, and it was all bogging down around this side. I was having a hard time cleaning out. When you use it, you can tell it leaves a line. Everything to the right, like they said it would. That you know they say for cleaner, better looking. I don't really care about manicure and weeds. You know I I could care less. But you get into taller grass and taller weeds and yeah everything clogs up on this side so I'm hoping with this counter rotation it'll you know keep it off that right hand side and put it under there so all right five hundred dollars later let's open up the box because it came in and let's see what you get for five hundred dollars um, I took some of this apart instructions all right um, here we go decal for that Two belts. This is the belt that goes from the reverse spindle to probably another pulley. Another belt. Um, here's a pulley. Dual pulley. Pretty big heavy duty one there. Well at least I'm starting to think I'm getting my five hundred dollars worth here. Idle or pulley. And a whole new spindle assembly with a blade. And sorry about the camera here. Um, all right, here's underneath. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm real impressed. They did like Ventrec. They got the heavy gauge circles. They got these to keep shit from wrapping around your spindles. Um. I apologize when I was uh, looking at this blade when it came in the box. As you see, most of the blades, it turns this way. They're aimed like this, and you can uh, flip them upside down. So when one, one side gets dull, you screw one up, you can flip it. What I thought they did is on the counter rotating, I thought they took a blade, let it upside down so it would cut like this. Um, actually, they had it in there upside down when they had it on, but it's a uh, dual-edged blade. So, I wish they would have cut, you know, like them sides did, but, eh, it'll work. Anyway, here's the design flaw. This is, this is what I see now after using this. This is why I purchased the reverse rotating blade kit. Um, it's, now I understand why it was doing what it was doing. All these blades are turning. It's taking all your shit. It's throwing it to this one side like a side discharge chute. Well, as you can see this around that wheel you can see all the junk I got up in here where it's hitting you can see it um, everything's coming down here it's hitting and this is having a hard time it was clogging up right here you could hear it and that's what it seems to me like it's doing everything's coming into here and it's trying to push everything out in a space like to that so by this counter rotating this way when these come in them two this is gonna take weeds and instead of pushing them against this it's going to clean cut them, it's going to bring everything to here, and then this blade's going to put it in, and when it goes down, both these spin. Now you're going to be able to push it this way, this way, and through the middle. So you're taking your whole circumference area, and you're trying to push all your stuff through a space that big, compared to everything through a space about that big. So I can, I can see why Ventrec did what they did with it. Um, like I said, it, it works without it, but I I thought it was well worth the money. Like I said, I wish I would have done it before and after. But um, So I just wanted to point that out. I'm going to go ahead and put everything on here, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, guys, all done here. Uh, got the reverse rotation blade installed. Uh, it was pretty easy to do. It wasn't too bad. did it by myself. Um, 
probably be a little easier two people someone to hold the wrench on the other side while you do it uh see what it consists of not too bad it's got a uh the new decal of course this belt's new and this belt's new um, it came with the new pulley which was shorter than the standard ones the double pulley there's another idler pulley and this is your uh this is your idler quite simple didn't take too long um, now when it turns see that counter rotates only thing I had to do was take this bolt out from that put it here take the spring from here, this this mark to here and then you have to adjust it it says what the hell does the direction say here um, you're supposed to adjust this one to nine to nine and a half inches long from point to point and then tension this one up to eight and three quarters. Pretty simple. Um, I don't know, hopefully here I can get you guys a video. We'll, we'll do a test drive on this. I apologize, I, I was in such a hurry to, to test this thing out. I was so excited I never did get a chance to show the video. I would have liked to have showed it back and up in here as bad as it was, but when I had the deck up, I got a pretty good view of what was happening. Um, and one thing I forgot to add here, uh, I guess one advantage to buying the reverse blade kit is uh, now I got one spare blade in case I dick one up on a rock or something and uh, I got a brand new spindle it's only got probably two hours use on it so I mean it won't be able to if I screw one up on the right hand side of course I won't be able to uh, use that one but yeah there you go um, if you'd ever happen to screw one up hit something or bearing go out I guess that saves you money there. You always got one on the parts shelf. So I just wanted to add that. I forgot to add that in that part of the clip. So 